Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to install the Hyper-V Manager on a virtual machine running within uh, Microsoft Hyper-V. So, in other words, uh, virtualizing a VM within a VM, I guess you could say. So right here we have our Hyper-V Manager running on a physical Windows 10 client. Uh, this will work in Windows 11 as well. Same procedure, just remember it has to be the professional version to use Hyper-V. And of course you could do it on the Windows Server operating system as well. All right, so we have this Windows 10 Pro VM right here running in our Hyper-V instance here. So if we go to try and configure Hyper-V Manager by doing uh, Windows Features, Okay, we could install the management tools and the services, but not the hypervisor itself. It says Hyper-V cannot be installed. The processor does not have required, whatever the rest of it says, virtualization capabilities. So to fix this, we need to first shut down the VM. Okay, so next we open, need to open a PowerShell prompt. Uh, I'm not sure if you could do this via the command line, but we're just going to do it in PowerShell. So you just search for PowerShell. And I always like to right-click it and run it as administrator. Okay, so now we have this text here. I'll put it in the description. So what you want to do is set processor, VM name, name of the VM, and then expose virtualization extensions. True. So here's the name of the VM, Win10 Pro, which matches this. And I put it in quotes because of the spaces. So if you don't have spaces, you're probably not going to have to use quotes. So we're going to just copy this. Go in here, just left click to paste, press enter. And no errors, so it looks like we're good. So now we can go back over to our Hyper-V and restart the VM. And then when it's back up, we will be back. Okay, so the VM is back up and running. So let's go back to Windows Features. Okay, we'll go back to Hyper-V. Now you can see we have the management tools, both options there, and the Hyper-V platform. We have the Hyper-V hypervisor and services available, so we'll click OK. And now it's going to have to do a little updating here and also reboot. Okay, so we'll now restart the computer once again. Okay, so we're finally rebooted after all the uh, updates here. So let's uh, see what we got with Hyper-V. So there's our Hyper-V manager. Click on that, see if it runs. Okay, so let's connect to the server. Actually, we got this already connected to the server right there. So looks like we could go through. I'm not going to go through the whole process of creating a virtual machine, but it looks like everything's working. So it looks like we're good to go. We're running... Hyper-V within a Hyper-V VM. So once again, I'll put this text in the description and then you could just fill in the name of your VM from there. And, uh, you know, with the shutdown, just run this command in PowerShell, turn the VM back on, then you should be able to install the virtual machine from the uh, Windows features and you'll be good to go. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe. <laughs>